Hey there survivors, how's it going? I'm your host Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you another Scream and Ghostface Collector's video. Welcome to the museum everyone. It has been a lot of work getting this all set up, but it is finally complete and at this point we've already had our first weekend open. Everything was great, people came in, they loved it. I would say about 50% of the people made it to the door and got too scared to come in either because of all the screaming ghost face stuff or because I was in costume as the drown ghoul. But for those that did manage to make it through the door, they had a pretty wonderful time. And a few things have changed since the initial video I shot in here, which was just the collection walkthrough. Like I was able to get some display cases before we opened up, a few things have been moved around, some stuff added, and today we're actually going to be adding a few more pieces to the Ghostface collection. Outside of that quick tour with the initial setup, this is the first video that I filmed in here, and we have a pretty cool one for you all. Today's video is focused entirely on the Handmade by Robots figures. Let's go ahead and dive right in. This is not a sponsored video, but I am an affiliate of Handmade by Robots, so if you guys are interested in ordering any of their Ghostface line or any of the other cool vinyl figures they make, consider using my code, which will be on screen now, to get a little bit extra off your order. Let's start off with one that was technically supposed to be part of my Spirit Halloween haul video. We have the Spirit Halloween Silver or Chrome Handmade by Robots Ghostface. Now, whenever I initially saw this, I thought that it was pretty similar to a previous one, but I didn't have them side by side, and I guess really didn't think about all the differences, but of course I do have the other similar version here. This is the initial one that was released through FYE. This one features a silver mask that is actually like a much lighter silver color, and then of course has the FYE exclusive on there, and he has a bloody knife. Beyond that, there is actually blood on the packaging. It's on the top, on the back, of course, like I said, he has a bloody knife. And even if you look at the small image here, they use that Scream 4 promo image that's been used a ton, but there's a lot of blood around it. Whereas this newer version is completely different. The top of the box features no blood, it's much darker. Of course, sides pretty much the same, at least I think so, let me compare it. Actually, no, entirely different images on the side. How about that? They also feature different versions of the Ghostface logo. This one is a bit smaller and has the TD Ghostface from Scream 4 popping up on top of the logo, whereas this one is just the Ghostface font. Then if we also look at the box, the TD images are of course the same image. This is the more zoomed out one where you can see the arm with the knife and of course there's blood around it, whereas this one is much more zoomed in and basically just shows the face and a little bit of the chest, and there's no blood. There's also no blood on the knife of this one, so a bit different there. And then if we actually do compare the faces, one of them is more shiny and metallic, whereas one of them is more of like a flat silver. The original FYE version is more flat silver compared to the new version, which is much shinier. They're like a little bit different shades. I don't know how well that's gonna pick up on camera, but it's definitely noticeable in person when you put them side by side. If I had to choose a favorite between the two, I like the box on the FYE version more. The bloody top is really colorful and cool. But with this one, the figure itself to me looks a lot better. Don't get me wrong, it's the same figure. This one just doesn't have blood. And like I said, the face is much shinier. I think it looks really nice. Moving right along to another metallic. You guys can already see what it is, I'm sure. We have the absolutely gorgeous golden ghost face handmade by robots. This thing is beautiful. Personally, I think this might be the best one they've done yet. I just really, really love the box on it. It's got like this nice foil here, pretty much over the entire thing. It's on the back, it's on the top, the front. It looks really, really nice. And this little guy is actually the reason why I've been waiting to make this video. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Like I've, I've probably said that several times now, but it really is. I mean, just look at that nice chrome gold mask. I kind of wish the knife was also golden. I think that would have been really cool. Or maybe even to make the entire figure like solid gold, just as a tiny little golden ghost face statue, that would have been really cool. But the gold mask with the black robe, of course, sets it off, it looks great. On the front of the box here, we do have the same screen four image as the previous FYE version. But aside from that, I mean, pretty much the same. You have the Handmade by Robots mission statement on this side. You have a view of the ghost face figure on the back. And on the top here, another view of the ghost face figure. And yet again, this thing is just gorgeous with that gold foil. 
We've already covered two of the new Handmade by Robots figures I've added, but the next one is probably one of the most special. Unfortunately, I did miss out on the first very special limited edition Handmade by Robots, which was the blood splattered version. Would have been really, really nice to get one of those, and I'm definitely still looking for one, as well as many of the other colors that I've missed out on, the devil face version. I think they just came out with a new purple one. They've made quite a few, and it's been kind of difficult to catch up, especially with everything I've had going on. But this is a drop that I absolutely could not miss out on. I think it was a couple of months ago at this point, there was a live stream on Tim Wagstaff's channel, ghostface.co.uk, and he did a live stream with RJ from Fun World, Mary from Handmade by Robots, and Aaron from Cavity Colors. They all came together for this live stream to discuss different Ghostface stuff, and then of course they were going to announce a limited edition drop that was very, very special. Cavity Colors released a t-shirt, and Handmade by Robots released a figure that were done for breast cancer awareness. Here we have two of those figures. Now, I already knew that Handmade by Robots was going to be releasing something during the live stream, and that the people who were watching that live stream would have the very first opportunity to purchase them. So preemptively, I already had the website loaded up, I was waiting, ready to go, and as soon as it got listed, as they were talking about it in the live stream, I went ahead and ordered two of these. I didn't order two of them to be greedy, I wanted them just in case one came in damaged, and this one kind of did a little bit, so I'm happy I got two. And beyond that, I figured we might be able to do a giveaway in the future. These were a little bit more expensive than the regular Handmade by Robots, if I recall correctly, but the extra money is going to a good cause, which is breast cancer awareness, so I was very happy to support that. I didn't pick up the t-shirt, it was a cool design, but I really wanted to pick up the figures and that's all I really had money for at the time. And I'm really happy I did, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. On the top here, you have the cartoonish view of the figure, and you can see a little bit of the breast cancer awareness ribbon. On the back here, you have another image of the figure showing you what the entire thing is gonna look like. My favorite part of the box, and maybe even the figure itself, is this side. I love the fact that it's all in pink, but this is different from the regular Handmade by Robots mission statement. This is actually a letter from RJ from Fun World, so let's go ahead and read it. By purchasing this Ghostface Pink Edition, you are helping in the cause to defeat breast cancer. I believe the heart of each person is their true character. Without a heart, there can be no good, no faith, no trust, and no love. It is the center of our emotions and what is good in the world. The heart is the conduit of our emotions. If we listen to our hearts, the world would be a better place for us all. On behalf of Fun World and Handmade by Robots, we hope you enjoy this special limited edition run of Ghostface Pink Edition. Touch a life, RJ, director slash licensing, Fun World Div, Easter Unlimited, and then it's signed. And at the bottom here, it says a portion of all proceeds will be donated to support breast cancer research and awareness. Now, I could be wrong, but I think these are supposed to be numbered inside. And if they are, if these go chronologically from when you ordered them, I should have one of the highest numbers because I was literally there the second that it was added to the website and purchased it immediately. But I don't think I'll be opening either one of these. I think I'm going to be leaving them sealed. So... If they are numbered, oh well. If not, it really doesn't matter. It's all about supporting the cause, and of course, because I'm a completionist, had to have one of these. We haven't even talked about the figure itself, so let's go ahead and take a look. The bottom of his boots there have some pink soles. He actually does have a pink knife, which leads me to believe they really should have did the gold knife on Gold Ghost Face. That just would have looked even better, but still a nice figure. And of course, you have the breast cancer pink Ghost Face mask, and he does have a little ribbon that's stenciled on. It's not a separate sculpt or anything like that, it's just a stencil piece, but it still gets the job done. And I mean, outside of that, there's really not a whole lot to say about these, other than they were very limited, they do support a good cause, they were very first announced on Tim Wagstaff's channel, so if you were there for that, you were one of the first people that were able to get these. And with that being said, I guess there's really not a whole lot left to say about these, not a whole lot left to show. I won't be opening these, I will be leaving them sealed might give you guys a nice little shot of each of them individually as well as with my full Handmade by Robots collection so far. And of course if you are interested in picking up any Handmade by Robots stuff you can get that directly from them on their website or you can get it from one of the many retailers that they've worked with either to bring the unlimited versions or even special limited editions and exclusives. And if you decide to order it online don't forget about using that code maybe get a little bit extra off your order. Outside of that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all and I hope to see you next time.